The Central Institute of Fisheries Technology, or SIFT, was established at Cochin in 1957 with the objective of bringing out our fishing and fish processing technologies at par with the leading nations of the world. The Central Institute of Fisheries Technology has a mandate of harvest and post-harvest technology. Harvest technology in the field of fishing and post-harvest technology in the field of fish processing. Fishing and fish processing is developing at a very high pace all over the world. So if we are not taking pace with the changing world, we will be pushed behind. So the institute is working very hard in these lines. As far as fishing technology is concerned, the harvesting technology is changing at a much advanced stage. Rather than looking into the prawn harvest, we have to now look into the tuna harvest. So a long lining has to go a long way and then uh, we have to look into deep sea fishing also. So these are the changes we have to bring in the fishing industry. And with the changing in the fish, fish harvesting, the fish processing industry also has to change, like freezing, canning, high pressure processing and making value added products. There is a long list of uh, uh, technologies which we have to bring into the fish processing technology. Another very important thing is that we have to uh, adopt many modern technologies like nanotechnology, biotechnology and also high pressure processing and uh, pulse light processing. Such technologies will definitely is going to change the face of the processing technology. We are very proud that the institute has received two times the best institute award from ICIR, which no other institute has uh, received so far. The institute has seven clearly defined divisions, which have been the pillars of its growth. Fishing Technology Division It is here that innovations in fishing technology are developed and given a final shape. Innovations that have over the years made the Indian fishing industry a force to reckon with. SIFT has developed and popularized 12 standard designs of fishing vessels in the size range of 7.7 to 15.2 meters, suitable for various types of fishing under the Indian conditions, an appropriate gear system for trolling, seining, gill netting, lining. Most of the mechanized fishing vessels operating in marine fisheries of India are based on these standard designs. This includes introduction of V-form autoboards for demersal trawling, low-cost and durable craft building materials like aluminium, ferrocement, low-cost woods like rubber wood, coconut wood, fiberglass, etc. This institute has introduced several fishing nets for improvements in both traditional and mechanized sectors. SIFT developed an indigenous turtle excluder device or TED, christened as SIFT TED, to prevent the sea turtles. At NABL, accredited materials testing laboratory of fishing technologies division, using sophisticated testing equipment such as universal testing machines, abrasion tester, etc. Remotely operated underwater camera are used in fishing gear research to study fish behavior. Clearly, the Fishing Technology Division has been the backbone of the Institute. The Fish Processing Technology Division has worked extensively to come out with innovative post-harvest technologies that have made the industry commercially viable, like icing, freezing, canning, drying and curing, etc. From these, the institute has now taken the industry to modern technologies like retortable pouch packing, vacuum packing, modified atmosphere packing, etc. SIFT has standardized a three-layer laminated retort pouched packing of several varieties of fish and fish products such as fish cutlets, fish curry, wafers, pickles and soup powder from fish or shellfish as convenience foods. SIFT has come out with eco-friendly technologies for waste utilization by converting unused fish and fishery waste into valuable poultry and cattle feed by ensiling. More than 1 lakh tons of prawn wastes are generated from peeling shed and processing plants every year. SIFT 
has standardized the technology for production of the versatile chemicals chitin and chitosan from prawn shells waste with wide and varied applications in a number of fields such as medicine, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, industrial chemical, water purification, etc. Some of the other byproducts developed include shark fin rays, shark skin, shark teeth, fish oil, squalene, etc. The Biochemistry and Nutrition Division works on biochemical constituents like proteins, lipids, enzymes, minerals and vitamins that are present in the fish and decide its food value or its culinary properties. The Biochemistry and Nutrition Division, the pioneering technologies developed by the division include Preparation of collagen chitosan membrane, a composite membrane derived from natural biopolymers namely collagen of fish air bladder and chitosan, a glucosamine polymer prepared from prawn shell waste. It has been found useful as an artificial skin during treatment for burns and wounds and also in plastic surgery. Preparation of PUFA concentrates, a comparatively simple and less expensive technology for the production of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids from fish has been perfected and commercialized. Antipyretic and analgesic components extracted from aquatic plants and weeds have been tested successfully in experimental animals. The Microbiology, Fermentation and Biotechnology Division is entrusted with the responsibility of ensuring seafood safety to consumers. SIFT has developed very rapid protocols like PCR or polymerase chain reaction by which these can be detected in 8 to 24 hours. The institute has taken timely measures to assess the risk by screening farmed and processed shrimps, farm sediments and aquaculture feeds for antibiotic residues using microbiological and ELISA methods. Quality Assurance and the Management Division of SIFT was formed primarily to implement hygiene and sanitation in the processing industry. A process for detecting sulphide residues in prawns using malachite green test has also been developed. On the similar lines, a technology for the instant estimation of chlorine in process water, that is, chlorine test paper, was commercialized. SIFT produces technical assistance in preparation and validation of HACCP manual, implementation of HACCP and auditing in seafood processing plants. The division was primarily responsible for evolving quality standards for Indian frozen fishery products. The engineering division is leading the institute towards efforts to modernize the traditional craft. As a part of this, a series of FRP boats of various designs were constructed for area-specific needs. FRP boats of an improved design were also constructed for the Schedule Cast Schedule Tribe Cooperative Society of Chellanam village at Cochin for backwater fishing. The boats now being built on the west coast of Kerala and Mangalore follow the flow deflection design features of Sagar Kripa. The engineering division also has significant contributions in the field of processing engineering equipments. Dry fish has an important market. This includes five variants of high-capacity, low-energy solar dryers. Eco-friendly solar tunnel dryer with electrical and LPG backup has also been designed and developed by this division having an efficient heat absorbing and utilization system. The institute has developed a design and fabricated a cheaper fish meat bone separator. A device for production of molded prawns was developed and its performance tested. An energy-efficient and compact ETP system has been designed using hydraulic mixer come vortex flocculate chamber. The extension, information and statistics division ensures dissemination of knowledge gained by the institute to the end users and other stakeholders, supplying of designs and publications, arranging of exhibitions and film shows, publication and issue of technical pamphlets, leaflets, folders, booklets and books and also through the regular publications of the institute like the annual report, research highlights. The division has carried out studies to assess the market for export of seafood products, 
estimation of harvest and post-harvest losses in marine and inland fisheries, statistical and econometric evaluation of production and marketing of seafood products, the economics of operation of fishing vessels. All these studies have been fairly revealing and have often provided the industry a reference point to base the future course of action. More than 5,000 participants from various states, a number of officials from Philippines, Maldives, Nepal, Thailand and Sri Lanka. It has successfully transferred many technologies on harvest and post-harvest preservation of fish in the NEH region, rural poor and the financially backward communities for whom training programs and demonstrations have been organized. Agriculture Technology Information Center or ATIC is a single window for SIF technologies in harvest and post-harvest aspects of fisheries to solve the problems of farmers. SIFT has been serving the industry by offering analytical services in respect of industrial products concerned with fishing and fish processing. Today, besides its central hub, SIFT has research centers focused to area-specific needs. These centers are at Vishakha Patnam, Veraval, Burla and Mumbai.